Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It is Wednesday, the 27th of July, and we are another step closer to the start of the season. And I, for one, cannot wait. But of course, Leeds United still are chasing two positions, your striker and left back. OK, we will need a goalkeeper as well, but they will come in time. He will come in time. Um, but we're here to talk about a specific left back that's been profiled and linked in the last 24 hours. But before we do that, let's talk about uh, the current situation on the centre forward front. Uh, as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel and of course get your comments in and hit the notification bell. Don't forget it's Wednesday, which means it's midweek fix and we'll be live at 8 o'clock and Lewis is back tonight so we can find out all about his lovely holiday that he had away. I mean, he's already told me he's going away in a couple of days as well, man. What, what's going on here? What's going on? Um, but yeah, let's start, of course, with um, that man again, Charles de Ketelaire. As much as I love the guy, even I'm getting annoyed now uh, about speaking uh, about it, you know, when is this deadline going to hit, all right? Leeds United are waiting in the wings, OK? And I understand why, because he's their top target and a fantastic player, all right? Um, there was a meeting yesterday between Maldini and the director of football at Milan with the chief executive at Club Bruges, and it still hit another impasse. There's still not been a, a transfer fee resolved, you know? Um, Club Bruges is standing fast saying, no, if you want to take the Ketelet, you have to pay what we want. We've got a bid there. I mean, you could argue they're better negotiators than what Leeds are because we know how we were dealt with the Phillips transfer, with the Rafinha transfer, whereas Club Bruges are like, listen, we don't need to sell. There's a bid there. We're not going to sell. And Club Bruges know as well. It's like we were told by Alex, a lot of clubs in Belgium already would have gone, yes, take the money. But Club Bruges are a little bit, you know, I think he called them the Bayern of uh, of Belgium, right? Uh, they hoover up all the top talent and move it on. And they've got like Noah Lang, for example, and they'll want to put out a message out there to say, listen, we are tough negotiators. Look what we're doing with Charles de Ketelet. If you want Noah Lang, you're going to have to pay top brass as well. Now, their current valuation or offer, sorry, by Milan is around about 27 million. Of course, we know Leeds United have got 31 million weight in there, which equates to about 37 million euros. There seems to be a difference, like I say, of like three, two, three million. And still, AC Milan don't seem to be able to hit it. It seems like pocket change. I know that sounds mad. It does sound mad. Yeah, I hear it, especially with the current living crisis. And I'm saying a couple of mils, you know, uh, pocket change. But for a club like AC Milan, surely they can find that down the back of the sofa. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see, but it's doing my tits in and I'm sure it's doing yours in as well. But I understand why the club are waiting. Now, of course, if, it's like a domino effect. If Charles de Ketelaire goes to Milan, then we'll start to see movement elsewhere, right? And we know we've scouted Martin Terrier at Ren. He's been smashing it. And we've also spoken to PSG about Arnau Kalimawendo. Again, he's been killing it in pre-season and has done well in Liga and prior um, you know, to this pre-season on loan from PSG. Now, Renner are apparently in talks to sign Kalimawendo as well. Um, I think Nice are interested as well, who just are about to sign Kasper Schmeichel, which is a madness. But Leeds United can't get caught slipping here because if we wait for CDK and then... He moves to Milan and Callum Wendo's already agreed with Wren. We're up shit creek. So we need to weigh it up. We need to weigh it up and move fast. Um, it's getting very, very frustrating. And we're, what, about 10 days away now from the start of the season? We need to get moving. Now, of course, yesterday I spoke to you about left-backs, OK? Um, I know that we'd uh, at least reached out to Man United in terms of looking at Alvaro Fernandez. Now, I did mention there was the chat about Preston. He has gone to Preston on loan. Um, and it's clear for me that what we're... The reason I did that video is a case of showing that Leeds United are profiling young left right? They're not looking at tried and tested. They're looking at someone they can maybe bring in on loan with a view to a perno or someone who can grow in that position and take over junior third port. And then in the last 24 hours, we've been linked to Real Madrid youngster, Spanish left-back Miguel Gutierrez. Now, it is his birthday today, so if by any chance whatsoever he's watching this, happy 21st birthday. Hopefully you can sign it off with a move to, to Leeds United. But he, he's been added to that list, list, okay? Now, Gutierrez has impressed when given the chance at Madrid. And has attracted the attention of several club clubs across Europe. Of course, he's done well, but will he get game time at Madrid? Well, of course, they have Alaba, they have Mendy. He can also play on the right, and they've got Nacho Fernandez, Danny Carvajal. So he's going to struggle to do that, right? Apparently, Arsenal were linked last summer as well. 
Um, but at that point, I think he's got like a 40 million euro buyout clause. But I believe they're willing to do a deal, even on a permanent, at around about 7 million. So that's decent money for Leeds United and something, you know, we, we, we would definitely be on board with. Now, just a bit of profile on Gutierrez. He joined Madrid's youth system from Hatafi at the age of 10 uh, and made his debut for Castilla back in 2020. And then he's made his first de- first team debut in 2021 under Zidane, I think, and um I think he played around six times for Zidane and has been given little performances here and there by uh, by Carlo Ancelotti since then. Uh, he's a modern-day fullback, quick, technically sound and has the ability to impact games in the final third, which, of course, is what we're looking for. I think Ancelotti's on record questioning his de- de- defensive capabilities, um, which isn't great. But, look, he's a young lad. He's well thought of, 21, as I say, today. And uh, he fits the profile for me of what Leeds United are looking at, knowing that we're scouring, you know, the, the under-23s, if you like, of a lot of Premier League clubs and, of course, across Europe at this left-back. I don't see us bringing in a Charlie Taylor anymore or a Tagliafico. It looks to me like we're going down the different route. And whether you agree with that or not, that's the club seems to be what I'm hearing their messages to go after, you know, a, a younger left back, um, which which fits in with the current transfer ki- criteria that we've seen at Leeds United, right? Now, the great thing about um, Gutierrez as well, he's he's got a hat full of assists and it's something he's becoming known for, which is going to be great for Leeds. We've seen even in that pre-season game where Junior Thurpaul got himself two assists and a goal, them fullback areas at Leeds United are going to be key. They, they are going to be key. Like I've stuck Christensen in my uh, Fantasy Premier League. Make sure you join it. Links in the description. Um, because I think that's where, well, we know that's where a lot of the width is going to come from. And I see the fullback scoring and also creating for us this season. Uh, and at one point last season, he had eight assists in 14 games for uh, Castilla. Obviously, Real Madrid's B team, if you like. So um, he's got that in his locker. We know Leeds United are after a left back. It seems that we're profiling young left backs. And of course, we know Victor Orta has good links over in um, over in Spain. Madrid, okay, the last transfer we had from Madrid didn't exactly work out, did it? But I understand why they're going after a, a young left back. Whether or not it's the right tactic, obviously, if we're to go into the season, Firpo's going to be suspended, injured. It's a lot to to put on Gutierrez's uh, shoulders. A lot of people have mentioned Hjelder in, in, in my comments. Um, you know, what about Hjelder? He's done well there. I hear that, but that would mean only Hjelda would be the left back. We, we we need depth there, right? We do need depth there, especially now that we've said Creswell on, out on loan. Cooper doesn't seem to be fit, so Hjelda may have to be used at centre-back at times, you know? So we need to get left back in, and, and hopefully we're going to see movement. Because as I say, we're literally about 10 days away from the start of the season. We need a left back. We need a striker. Hopefully it's CDK, maybe Gutierrez. We'll have to wait and see. But listen, thanks as always for watching the show. Join us tonight at 8 o'clock for the midweek fix. We're going to be talking about each of our starting 11s and picking the bones out of each other's uh, sides. And then obviously predictions will come as well. So make sure you join us for that. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Leeds is Leeds.